It's been a few weeks since the release of Apple Arcade, and in that time I have played all of its games that have dropped since. Well, there's a huge asterisk at the end of that statement. These impressions I'm about to give are after dipping my toes in every game, some of which were enrapturing to the point of neglecting other weaker titles. I spent at least 20 minutes with each game on the servers, other than the handful that were either substantially inattentive or had a glaring gameplay issue. In summary, almost the entire lineup is good to great, with some of my favorite games of the year amongst its ranks. In this video, I'll be discussing which games exactly I think are must plays on the service, but I encourage you to check out the other games, as the majority of them are at least worth trying. If you have any questions about a game on the platform that I don't mention in this video, drop it in the comments below. But for now, here are 15 games I think are absolute must plays if you have Apple Arcade. A game I didn't think would resonate with me but did thanks to its design and controls was Cat's Quest 2. You play as the cat and dog kings trying to reclaim their thrones over their kingdom. The 2D graphics look fantastic and allow for the game to perform with zero issues. For a point and click action RPG, it moves pretty quickly. Maybe my least played out of all the games I'm mentioning in this video, but I think a lot of people are going to love it. What the Golf is a surprising experience with incredibly creative levels, some of which take inspiration from other video games. You simply pull back and shoot the golf ball, or sometimes not the golf ball, in an attempt to hit the flag. You maneuver between holes in an underground laboratory that is a game in itself. Its controls make it perfect for the iPhone. Overland is a post-apocalyptic turn-based tactical game, offering you decisions on the missions you can tackle. It's a slow burn, and the touch controls can be a little imprecise, but it has an incredible texture to its design. The game ramps up in difficulty relatively quickly, presenting you with tough choices. Do you stop to get more gas at a heavily infested area? Do you sacrifice one character to ensure the safety of another? I recommend playing this game on an iPad to assist with tapping on the thing you actually want to tap on. Nevertheless, I think it is absolutely a must play for Apple Arcade. The Bleak Sword is a well-constructed action game where timing is everything. If you're able to master its simple controls, the game feels incredible. Launch an attack at an enemy, swipe to evade, and if you time things just right, you can even counter. The gameplay becomes frantic in tougher encounters, and you will most likely have to retry over and over on multiple occasions, but the game does a good job of getting you stuck back in. Mini Motoys is both relaxing and stressful, having to manage the layout of a community, making sure traffic is constantly flowing between houses and factories. The design and gameplay come together well, although the controls require precision, where I recommend playing on an iPad or Mac. What starts out as a manageable scenario quickly turns into a frantic rush to collect pins from the factories, requiring you to strategically place traffic lights, bridges, and motorways. Miniaturized versions of each city are quaint, and whilst it may feel like the game has done you a disservice by placing a certain color a house too far away from its corresponding factory, you realize there's always an option to fix the circumstances. Over the Alps drops you right into an espionage story during the Second World War. The game is crafted by your decisions and discussions with other characters, as well as how you choose to move between locations. It looks beautiful, and the writing is gripping, with the sound effects behind each location and interaction immersing you in its setting. The game does not set up the story for you, and therefore, I recommend you read each of the newspaper's articles that appear throughout the game if you are unfamiliar with the history at play. Assemble with Care is another personal favorite, especially as I love to tinker with electronics. The beautiful mechanics are partnered by an equally beautiful story, and the interaction with the items in need of repair feels intuitive and natural. The Enchanted World is an inventive tile-swapping game that quickly teaches you how it works, making it easy to pick up. It's an excellent example of how to make a mobile game. Patent is a simple puzzle game that's challenge is well balanced. It's an awesome title to wind down the day with, especially with its excellent laid back soundtrack. The game also adapts in difficulty, so the better you play, the harder it's going to make it for you to complete the puzzle. Projection First Light is a platformer that has you manipulating light in order to create shadows that you can interact with. Its soundtrack and design blend perfectly to set the tone of the story. Sneaky Sasquatch has you moving around a campsite as the titular monster, trying to steal food without getting caught by the park ranger. The mechanics are great, and the challenges you come across will push your sneaking abilities to the limit. 
Pilgrims is a more recent addition that has you pick up new items and characters on your journey. Depending on who you act with, with what character and item will change the story. A single playthrough can be done in under an hour, but there are seemingly numerous outcomes if the amount of events I have yet to uncover are any indication. Neocab is one of my favorite games on the platform. As a driver for an Uber-like service, the story unfolds as you pick up passengers, where your services intertwine with your need to solve the mystery of the city. Coated in a neo-noir design, the characters and style are captivating. Sayonara Wild Hearts is one of the post games for Apple Arcade, and it's well deserved. An inventive rhythm game with incredible music and tons of heart, although it definitely plays better with a controller. Finally, Grindstone, a Contact 3 game with an awesome design and feel. This is the game that I've spent the most time with on the service. The game offers a great risk reward and regularly presents new ways to test your eye for paths through its levels. And that's 15 games right there that I think are absolute must plays for Apple Arcade. As I said at the top, I really enjoyed a ton of other games on the platform, but these are the ones that I think will resonate with everyone. Again, leave a comment below if you have a favorite you've been playing, or if you have any questions on any of Apple Arcade's other titles that I didn't mention. But ultimately, do I think the service is worth picking up? If Apple is able to bring awesome titles such as these to your phone for no additional charge, absolutely.